In this Universe Sandbox video, we're going to be terraforming Mars, and we're going to do this without changing any of its settings. And if that goes well, I'm going to make this a series, and we're going to terraform every planet in this system right here. All right, so here's Mars here. So to add water to it, we can actually go add and then get like a random asteroid and launch it at it and then make this let's see let's get it a little bit closer before we start changing it so the rules are we can't change any of the settings on mars but we can change settings on things we launch into it so i'm gonna fill this asteroid with water once it gets a little closer and we're also gonna slow it down too just so it doesn't crash super hard it more like just very gently goes into it so if we go to composition we can make this water and I actually probably want it to be a little bit bigger. There we go. So this is like a big thing of water. And then for motion, I'm going to go to the speed and then just make it zero. So it'll just slowly go into it right now. Boom. See, there we go. It did shoot off a lot of fragments, but it also added a bunch of water to the surface. So let's speed up the time. So this water is going to freeze. And unfortunately, there is no way to change the atmosphere settings on a planet um by launching stuff into it so we are gonna have to adjust the atmosphere in the settings but this is the only thing we're gonna add in the settings so atmosphere so let's make it a bit bigger probably about there and then yeah this is the only thing we're changing and we may change some of the visuals but that's not gonna change any of the actual settings just the way it looks so if we go to composition we can see that life likelihood is 47.8 so it is habitable now but I do want to try to add some more water. So let's speed it up and see how this water dissipates. Perfect. Let's throw another water bomb into it. Wait for it to get closer. Make it water. Make it bigger. And then turn the speed to zero again. Watch it collide. Perfect. Speed up time here. So it looks like a lot of it is freezing. So how can we heat this up? Let's check out some of the stuff in here. Average temperature is pretty cold still, so we might have to turn the atmosphere up some more. Perfect, okay. So with six atmosphere layers, we get it around 30 and it looks like it slowly is changing. Maybe we'll go seven, but that should be pretty good for temperature wise. And let's check out how this planet's looking. This water is looking pretty good. I think we want more water right here. So let's put another water asteroid into it gonna contact boom add a bunch of water and yeah it will heat it up but it should be okay over time okay this is looking pretty good let's do one more right here and then i think we'll be good for water let's try to get it to go really slow so it doesn't heat it up too much so once it gets really close i'll put it back to zero again because it is speeding up very quickly okay there set it to zero again and then we'll watch it go oh yeah that did help a lot with uh oh wait that, <laughs> that was pretty big but after we speed this up and give it a minute we should have a pretty well water covered surface give it a few months to cool down throw this down still it's still warm but we'll just we'll just give it a couple minutes and this this looks pretty nice we got some big craters from where the water came but this will be good for life so if we actually go in here um, and check the habitability 42.9 so that's pretty good but I do want to add some vegetation so this is just visual it's not gonna actually alter any settings so this is allowed um, we can turn this on and it'll illuminate we can do always on or if habitable I'm gonna see if over time it'll grow if we put it on if habitable it doesn't look like it is but that's okay okay so let's just instead of doing that I'm actually gonna go to here and then put it on elevation and then we can change the colors manually let's turn off atmosphere while we do this so we can get a good look at what we want turn off clouds too so Mars is like that orange color orange red so then let's do this one like the the as if it were vegetation. So if we do it like here, and then I think this needs to be a little bit more. So here's what our Terraform Mars surface is gonna look like. And this is a very, it's like a mountain of water. There's so much right here. But let's, I'm gonna speed it up again and see if that'll dissipate out. It doesn't look like it is. It looks like it's sort of like dug its own crater for it to sit in. So that's okay. But this is looking pretty good. So let's uh, rename this to 
Mars 2.0. And if we bring back our atmosphere and clouds, let's make this atmosphere a little bit more blue. Yeah, make the atmosphere more blue so it um, appears better. And we're also gonna add city lights here. So if we look on the back, we can see there's lights on it now. Let's change the interface color to be blue. Cause we got Mars 2.0 now. This looks really good. And one more time, check the habitability. 48, I'm gonna see if it'll go up over time cause we still have some of the impacts cooling down. Yeah, it's going up over time. So we'll just leave this until it stabilizes. So it looks like it's stabilizing around 50.3% which is pretty good for Mars. And this looks really nice. All right, so we did terraform Mars. This green area down here looks really good. Um, if you would like to see more terraforming videos, I'm planning to put them all in one system. And then once it's done, we can, I'll upload that to the workshop. So if you wanna see me terraform, I was thinking of doing the moon next, terraforming the moon, and then it'll also have this Mars in the same system. So if you'd like to see that, leave a like. And if we get, let's say 30 likes, then I'll do, I'll make the moon video. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. We just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, let's go for 2000. See you guys.